Okay, in the last video we saw how can we uh, read an image, how can we play with its different channels and stuff like so. So we actually read an image of a bird and then we moved on to uh, basically displaying its different channels and uh, we also saw how to increase the contribution or decrease or change the contribution of a different color. Uh, we also saw how to select a particular bounding box and uh, change different colors of that. In this video, we are going to see how can we uh, convert our image to a grayscale image. So for that, um, I'm actually going to read this image again, just to... So let's say this is our image. Uh, so we read our image again. Again, uh, it has four channels. So let's get a clean RGB image out of it. So till three. So that's our RGB image with us. Now, uh, the red channel, as uh, we saw in the previous video as well, is the channel uh, which is at the first index, which is zero. The green channel is at the second index, which is one, because the indices, they start with zero in Python. And similarly, the blue channel is uh, indexed at the last. By the way, be careful, maybe there are certain libraries that read an image in different format. Uh, for example, maybe you go to OpenCV and when you read that image using OpenCV, maybe it, read, it reads the image in a particular way such that the first index refers to blue and the last index refers to red. So BGR convention is also there. Uh, although in, uh, here we are uh, in, in Matplotlib, we saw that the convention uh, basically is RGB. So these are three uh, channels. What if we uh, average the three channels and just make one image out of it? Let's say M gray. Let's say we have uh, this image and we just, um, we just average out this particular, um, these different channels. For example, we have some value, let's say 0 0.333, 0 0.333. We just multiply that with R and then we multiply 0 0.333 with green and then we multiply um, 0 0.33 with uh, blue. Uh, what you can see is this is basically exactly this is average where all the red, green and blue they have uh, same weightage so you can call it a uniform averaging. That's average of the three channels and the average really is stored in this particular. Um, image m gray. Now, if we just show that image plt dot m show m gray c map equals to gray different color maps, you might be seeing a grayscale image. However, um, people uh, in this particular field they think that the uniform averaging of different red, green, and blue channels. Uh, they do not actually make a grayscale image that is more realistic uh, than the weightage that basically, uh, I mean, they come up with uh, the numbers that are not uniform, but they still are averaging numbers. So for example, uh, a more promising way of converting image to a grayscale is to weight the red channel as um, 0 0.2989. That's the weight of red channel in the average. So the uniform averaging is not happening. Uh, then the green, cha green channel has a weight 0.5870 into green. And the blue channel basically has a weight 0 0.1140 times blue. So what they say is this uh, kind of weighting, this is this weighted average uh, basically generates a grayscale image that is more realistic. So plt dot m show m gray c map gray. So yeah, so that's the basically grayscale image. And these are basically the numbers that different libraries, this is the transformation that different libraries use uh, for converting an image to a grayscale image. So for example, let me use um, let me use a library, for example, OpenCV to convert an image to a grayscale image. And let me show both the grayscale image that we generated by this transformation and the grayscale image that OpenCV will generate. So let's see, import CV2, 
that's OpenCV. Um, then M gray um, using CV2 is basically CV2 dot CVT color CVT uh, color. We have our image M2 and then we have this what kind of conversion we want to move to. This is color RGB to gray. So that also converts the image to a grayscale image. So let's first see this image individually and then we will uh, show you side by side both of them. Oh, why not I, why don't I show you, show you both the images side by side. So AX1, AX2 as PLT dot subplots. Let's say one by two and fig size equals to, let's say 10 by 15. And then what I do ax one show as the grayscale image that we generated uh, using uh, this particular transform, this transform. Let's display this image. C map equals gray. Um, and then uh, on to the second side, right side, we will show the image that is generated by CV2 library. C map equals gray. And let's test uh, the result visually. Um, as you might see, uh, visually, uh, both are exactly the same. Um, yeah, both results are, so that's the grayscale image by built-in built uh, OpenCV library, and this is the grayscale image we generated by this particular transform. Um, and this is the standard transform uh, for converting an image to a grayscale image. One note of importance is that um, once an image is converted to grayscale, uh, grayscale image basically is a weighted average of uh, red, green, and blue channels. The reversal is not possible. Uh, I mean, you cannot, you should not expect that given a grayscale image, you can uh, retrieve the red, green, and blue channels back exactly. And the reason because if you, for example, are supplied with an average of some numbers, and somebody asks you to come up with the numbers whose average is this, there is no unique solution for that. So reversal is not possible uh, uniquely. So that's about it. Uh, in the next video, we will talk about how the digital images basically are formed through camera. We will basically discuss the pinhole camera model. Hope to see you in the next video.